Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I am showing you what I got for Christmas 2020. Now, I honestly don't usually do these videos. I think I've only done it once on my channel just because sometimes I feel like it can give the wrong impression and I definitely don't want to do that. But I personally love watching these videos. Like, it makes me really excited for Christmas. I love to watch them before Christmas has even happened and then I always watch them after Christmas as well. I think it's just really fun. So I wanted to do one as well. Everybody does a typical disclaimer, but in no way am I bragging or showing off what I got. This is a type of video that's been around on YouTube for a long time and something that I enjoy watching. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you guys had a great Christmas or happy holidays, whatever it is that you celebrated. And I know things are a little different this year with COVID, but I hope you were able to make the best of the day and the, the best of the season and just enjoy this time regardless of everything that's going on in the world. We're just gonna get right into the video. I am so excited. I don't know why, but I got so spoiled this year and I don't know what I did to deserve it, but I'm just like feeling so blessed and overwhelmed by all of the things that I received and yeah, we have a lot, so I'm just gonna get started. So I'm gonna start off with the stocking because that's typically the first thing that you open. So I've got some cozy slippers here. I've been obsessed with slippers and like fuzzy socks and everything like that because we moved into this place um, back in March. So this is our first like real winter in this place and I just noticed the floors here are so cold. So if I'm downstairs, I need to have like slippers or something on. I also got two pairs of gloves. I did ask for these because mine have gone missing and it sucks when it's really cold out and you're trying to drive and your steering wheel is ice cold so i really needed some gloves so i got some of those also can never have enough socks so i also got some white and black socks got some liquid makeup remover got this cute little container of lindor chocolate some packs of gum because you can never have enough got two packs of makeup wipes now I don't use makeup wipes every day like I used to. I use like balms or like um, oils, but I still like having these on hand just because I am still transitioning. So if I'm like really, really lazy and it's like seems like too much work to do the whole massaging with the balm and kind of stuff, like I'll just resort to wipe. Or if I did like a really crazy look or I'm wearing a lot of makeup, like I'll sometimes do the wipe first just to get a good portion of it off and then do the balm and then the cleanser. So I like having these on hand and I know these came in like a pack of two. So I'm pretty much like I'm stocked up for a good while now. And last thing in my stocking is some Batiste dry shampoo. I cannot live without this stuff. So always love getting this. All right, the first gift I'm gonna go into is from my best friend because she got me a whole bunch of goodies here. So first thing we have a really cute toiletry bag. I honestly don't, have any like actual toiletry bag so this is going to be perfect when we're actually able to travel again so in here she also stocked me up with makeup wipes so literally i am stocked we've got some rose ones and some cucumber she got me a bliss Tex orange mango blast lip balm then i have this purity's chocolate coffee break stick thing so i think it's like coffee flavored sounds really good she loaded me up with some scrunchies so we have three packs of three so we have these ones some basic ones and then some like metallic ones so far my scrunchies are always going missing so i'm glad that i'm like really stocked up she picked me up some hand sanitizers we have eucalyptus mint and cherry blossom and they also have the cute little holders on it which is really nice we cannot have enough hand sanitizer right now so these will definitely come in handy last thing in this bag is some nail polish from sally hansen we have this beautiful bright paint and this like sky blue really really pretty colors i can like paint my toes with them all right that's everything in that toiletry bag and then i also have some more stuff so We've got some more slippers. Again, I love slippers right now. I wear them every single day. Inside is so cozy on them. We have this cotton candy body butter. It looks really good. I'll show you the inside because it looks delicious. Like I wanna eat that. We have some deep cleansing pore strips. Definitely will come in handy along with some lip masks. Again, need these, necessity. This cute little candle. I think this is lavender, it smells really good. We have this super cute little cotton candy lip balm, some Eyelore lashes, these look so nice. And then she got me this like layered 
necklace from our Deans. I love layered necklaces, but the problem with layering them, at least with like the dainty necklaces I find, they just get all twist up because I wear this necklace and I wear this one that my boyfriend got me and I wear them all day every day and they always get so twisted and tangled and it's annoying but like I love them so I wear them. So this is really nice and a nice like change. Sometimes you want to just change your jewelry and this is nice to have. So I really like this and it's like simple dainty necklaces. She also picked me up some earrings which I'm so excited about. I kind of mentioned it but I got a bunch more piercings over like kind of when we got out of quarantine and since then i've just been obsessed with jewelry and changing my earrings and like all that kind of stuff obviously i don't change the new ones but as for like my three here i like changing them up so she bought me a bunch and i'm so excited about these so the first ones we have these first one it's kind of like little leaves but they're like a mini hoop i really like them next she got me some basic studs and then some little hearts and these ones are honestly my favorite so these really pretty um crosses i really love those so that's everything my best friend got me all right i'm gonna move into some gifts from my boyfriend's family so first thing i have is a shoe rack i desperately needed this I don't know how and why but I've accumulated a lot more shoes and I only have like a two shelf rack which is already completely filled with like my heels and other shoes so none of my newer shoes have any place to go. I really needed this because the area that I keep them in it gets so messy. So I'm so glad I got this. This was from my boyfriend's younger brother. Along with that he got me a Tim Hortons gift card and that will definitely go to use. From my boyfriend's parents they got me a new laptop case. I asked for this as well. This is my old one. It is so bad like it is disgusting I don't know why it gets so dirty but it does so I honestly I wanted pretty much the exact same one but just a new one because it's so dirty and also the handle is starting to rip on it so that's exactly what this is it's like the exact same color it is a different brand but has a large pocket here with lots of like little spots for everything the inside of it is really nice as well and the handle on this one is much more like secure feeling so really needed that very glad I got one the next thing they got me is a acrylic jewelry organizer I asked for this as well because I like I said I've been much more into jewelry and I just don't have a good way of like properly storing things so they're not getting like mixed up and tangled and whatever so I wanted something that I could actually store it in but I just needed something small I don't have a ton that I wear um, so this is perfect you have like the slot up here for like rings or earrings and then little sections to organize things and the other drawers are kind of like that as well like they have little sections so it's going to be really perfect for organizing and I like the acrylic look I do have acrylic organizers already for my jewelry like their makeup organizers so this is going to be much better and then along with that they also picked up some earrings that I had on my list this is the brand name these were on Amazon they're simple like silver chunky hoops these are like so in style I prefer silver jewelry just because um, one it's cheaper and two I just find it looks better on me so I know these kind of earrings are really in style these like chunky little hoops so I really wanted some and they got them for me so I'm really excited about those I love having like a more dangly earring here and then having like the tighter ones here so that is perfect all right and then from my boyfriend's older brother and his girlfriend they got me a few things the first thing they got me is this friends memory master game this looks so fun so it's not like a trivia game which I like that just because not everyone is a friends expert so it's harder to find people to play with this is something that like everyone can play because it's like a memory kind of game um, but yeah if you don't know I love friends and you're gonna kind of find that out throughout this video so really excited to play this they also got me a bath and body work set it comes with the body lotion and a hand sanitizer this is my favorite scent, the Vanilla Bean Noel. It is my top favorite. And honestly, I think I'm out of the Vanilla Bean body cream. So I'm really excited to have one of those. From Bath & Body Works, they also got a Warm Vanilla Sugar Fragrance Mist. This is amazing. This is another one of my favorite scents. 
They also got me a Lush bath bomb. I don't know the name of this one, but this is what it looks like. Then they picked me up some lashes. These are from House of Lashes and the Sephora collection in Celine, I think it was, or Cecile, which are really, really nice lashes, really good everyday ones. And the last thing they picked me up was actually something that I had on my list. This is the Huda Beauty Purple Haze Palette. I personally love these little mini palettes from Huda Beauty. I have quite a few, like I have all three of the Nude Obsessions and then I have two of the neon obsessions and I just love them all so when I saw this collection come out this is the one that really caught my eye it's just really really beautiful colors and I like the purples because I feel like I don't have a ton of like metallic purple shades so really excited to play with that I've already swatched a couple and oh my god they're so good all right and then that's everything from them I'm gonna move on to stuff that my grandma got me because she got me quite a bit so the first thing she got me is this like spinning tower organizer i'll just show you a picture of like what it looks like because i have to build it so i can't really show you but you can kind of see it there so it's an acrylic spinning tower she got me one of these last year and i use them for perfume and i love it but i have accumulated a lot of perfume over the years so I now need a second one so she got me one of those the next thing she got me this is really cool I don't know how to really show this to you I've definitely seen these online but it's just like a little moon so they sit on a hand or the other one is like this little like block thing that it can sit on but it's just a cute little moon and then it has the warm light and the white light and then can turn off and you can charge it and it just sits there like that it's so cute it's gonna go in my beauty room as just like a piece of decor the next thing she got me is this technically a piggy bank it says girls just want to have funds and it's so cute i'm a server so usually i have tips and that was kind of the ideas that i can put like change in here but honestly this is so cute it's just decor as it is i'm sorry i'm saying so cute a lot this is really nice it's decor it really matches my beauty room so even if i don't end up putting any money in it i'm definitely just gonna have this as a piece of decor because it's so nice the next thing she bought me i'm actually wearing it but she did get me a new apple watch band this is one that i wanted i saw this as a trend as well it's like a scrunchy kind of looking band and i love it so much it's just so comfortable compared to like not that my old one wasn't comfortable, but it just doesn't feel like anything's on my wrist because it's just tight enough, but not too tight where it's like suffocating it. it breathes really nicely, like it doesn't get hot or sweaty or anything. I've, I'm, I love this and I think it looks really cute. And then she also got me some jewelry, so I'm also wearing one of them. She got me this bracelet here, and I don't know if you can see it properly, but it has my zodiac sign on it, which I'm an Aries. So she got me that. It's really cute and I love how like dainty it is. That is the brand name for it. She got it on Amazon. And then she also got me this ring here. Ring. I do really like it. The only thing is it kind of like the design of it just fits kind of weirdly on my finger and it like pushes the skin up. And it did it to her as well. So I don't really love that. I really love the design. I just don't love the way it looks on me, unfortunately. And the last thing that she got me was some earrings. These are also ones that I asked for. So they're just basically like little um, fitted hoops. Kind of like the ones I have um, here. The only thing is these already look like they are tarnished. So, I mean, I swear when I picked them out, they were sterling silver, but if they're already tarnished, I'm going to say they're not. So I'm definitely going to exchange those just because they don't look like they're very good quality, unfortunately, because I really like them. So I'm going to try to exchange them for something different just because they, yeah, they look completely tarnished already, which is unfortunate. The next thing, I really wanted these and these are LED uh, lights and these are compatible with Alexa. So I do have Alexa in my room. I wanted these to put like, behind my tv and basically with the alexa i can turn them on and off through her rather than having to like um you know have a remote or anything so i'm very excited to set these up i've been patiently waiting for these because i wanted them really really bad so i'm so excited about that so the next thing is she made me this picture here i'm so sorry you can see my ring light i'll try to um, uh, try to move that she made me this picture it says life is better with a dog and then she wrote me like a little message on the back and how it's for my dog Lacey who literally Lacey is my best friend she's my everything I love her to death so yeah this was just something that was really sweet something that I can always 
have and I plan on having this up in my own place when I have one one day. I love this so much. I think it's beautiful and this frame too. Yeah, it's just, it's really nice. She got me a new comforter. This is one that I actually saw an ad for on Facebook. I immediately sent it to her and I was like, this is something I'm going to put on my list. And she got it for me. So it is a chrome, what do they call it? It's a foil duvet cover set. Yeah, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can tell on camera like how it has that um, foil effect. They had this in pink and the gray color. Originally I asked for the pink, but then I was like, you know what? I already have a pink duvet. I might as well get a gray and like have different colors to switch it between because my room is pink and gray. So I went with the gray one. My grandma also got me a Tim Hortons gift card and she did give me a Starbucks one as well. I've already broken into that one. So it's in my purse right now, but yeah. I will definitely get lots of use out of those. This next gift I was very surprised by because it's something that I wanted that I didn't actually ask for. So she got me a Fujifilm Instax Mini Link. This is a like portable Polaroid printer. I really love the Polaroids and having them up. I think they're so cute, but having the cameras is just kind of an inconvenience for me. And I mentioned this as a gift in my gifts for the girls in your life video. I said this would be a great gift and I was like, you know, that's something that like I would love too. And I guess she watched that video and got it for me. So I was very surprised opening this up and I'm very excited about it. I do have like a whole um, row of string lights on my wall and I have pictures hanging from them, but it's just going to look so much better with Polaroid. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's really small and cute and I love the color. And then she also got me some Instax mini film to use with it. I've already printed out one picture, one of my boyfriend and I. And then along with that, she also got me two of these glitter frames to put some in. All right, I have quite a few more gifts from her, but they're all like related to each other. So I'm going to kind of zoom through these. So I love getting acrylic nails. Like I usually always have them. Ignore this one. I broke it when I was opening a present today, of course. But I love acrylic nails, but they're expensive. And working two jobs, I tend to be pretty busy. So it's kind of hard to plan out like time to be able to go get them done. I'm usually working early in the morning or working by the time they're closed. So it can be a little hard scheduling it. And I came across a TikTok video and she does her own nails at home and it was kind of inspired me and I was like, I really want to do my own acrylics. I also have a YouTuber as well that I watch. Why did I just blank on her name? Like I was literally just thinking about her and I cannot think of her name now. Her name is Maya Benway and she does her own acrylics at home too and she does like really fun designs and like plays around with them says how much she loves doing them so I just really wanted to start doing them myself and save myself some money and just also be able to do it on my own schedule and do my like just experience practice I'm a very like do-it-yourself kind of person so if it's something I can do like I'm gonna do it so my number one thing that I wanted for Christmas this year was like a nail kit so I could start doing them on my own and not only did she buy me the nail kit but she bought me like literally all all the accessories with it so I'm very excited this first box here is the actual kit this is a bundle you can get like everything in here in one from Amazon um, which is really nice if you're kind of starting to do them on your own first thing it comes with is a UV lamp this is definitely necessary if you're gonna be doing like acrylics or gel nails at home then it also comes with some um, necessary like polish so you have the top it off like the sealer the top coat and then you also have the foundation base gel. Next, it comes with a bag here full of stuff. We've got some cuticle oil, comes with some different nail files, comes with these wipes. I don't really know what they're for, to be honest. Some gems, some tape for designs, a few other things and some like tools. And the last thing is it comes with some nail polish. So it comes with six different mini nail polishes. I picked this set just because it had some like more nude pink colors in it, which you know, I like my nude pinks. Along with that, she also got me the drill that they like use at the salon um, for like filing and all that kind of stuff. This is the Cadrim 
multifunctional polishing machine. So that's everything it comes with and then it gives you like a bunch of these little heads for it. She got me this pack of like files as well and I don't know what these are called but I know they use these at the salon and then there's also like a little powder brush here. We've got the acrylic nail tips. Now I'm not doing like the typical powder. I'm actually using a different product that she used in the video and this is basically a building base and from the way she described it, it seems to do like pretty much the same thing. It gives you like that thick um, nail so it's like really sturdy and she said it lasts just as long. So this is what it looks like and the brand and everything. So I'm going to give that a try and see how it goes. That's one reason that I didn't want to do gel nails at home is just because it can be a little hard to get a nice um, base I find. Like a lot of them can look very bumpy and stuff and I didn't want that. So this seemed like it was going to be easier and just as long wearing. So hopefully it is. She also picked me up the Gelish Nail Service Cleanse. I don't know. This is something that I see everyone use. So I was like, oh, maybe I need that. Got the nail glue, of course. This is the highly recommended one. And this is actually the one that they use at my nail salon. We've got a nail cutter for the acrylics. These are just a fun little add-on. But these just kind of go on your fingertips when you are putting the product um, to like take off your old set. I see a lot of people just use tin foil and leave that on, but I felt like that was kind of wasteful. So this is just a much easier idea. And then she bought me a lot of nail polish, which I really was not expecting. So this one is by the same brand as the nail kit and it's the Gelish number 1589. It's just a like champagne glitter shade. And then she also picked me up two of these sets from this brand. They each come with six mini nail polishes. So that is the first set. Again, a lot of like nude pinks and like lighter tones. There's also a really nice red in there. I'm really excited about that one. All right, and that is what the other set looks like. So I've got lots of options to play around with just to start out, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, I can't wait to start playing around with that and hopefully I like it and get good at it. That would be awesome. Oh my god, that is everything from my grandma. My back is killing me from sitting here and I still have all my boyfriend's gifts. This is like ridiculous. All right, so my boyfriend like really spoiled me this year. He overdid it and I'm just so blessed. It's amazing, honestly. He got me a stocking this year, which I was not expecting. He's never done that before. So he filled it up with lots of treats, like my favorites. We've got Niz, we've got Lindor, Hershey's, Kit Kat, Coffee Crisp, Reese's, and then mini Reese's and Twix like <laughs> like all right stocked me up he also got me an SD card because I mentioned that in my video as well so now I have a backup of 128 gigabytes and then he got me these reading socks these are amazing like these are literally so comfy and just amazing really amazing and he got me a starbucks gift card he got me a dunder mifflin planner so i love the office it's a show that we watch together and then you can write the date so i like it just because it's something that i can use whenever i'm ready to use it it's not for a specific year or specific time because some of the planners are like august of this year till august of next year some of them are january to december like it kind of changes so there's a lot of times where i will have a planner that i end up not using part of it because it overlaps with another part or whatever it may be so i like the idea that i can plan this out to be used when i want to use it so that's really nice he got me a bath and body works set it has a spray a body lotion and a body uh, or like a shower gel this is the scent you're the one and smells really nice. Next, he got me some Central Perk Friends sleep pants. These feel really, really nice, and I don't actually have like actual sleep pants, so I'm very excited about these. He also got me a Friends pillow, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put in my bedroom. The next thing he got me is a heated blanket. I'm very excited about this. I have never had a heated blanket. My grandma has them, and I've used them a few times, and they're just so amazing. So I, was very excited to get this. It's not something like I asked for or anything. But yeah, it's going to be really nice. I'm probably going to keep it in my beauty room and like I can use it when I'm getting ready because sometimes it gets really cold in here. He also got me a friend's face mask. I love this. It's actually really nice 
he got me some almond M&Ms. I did not know those were a thing. Very excited. And then I got two Christmas ornaments. This is my first year like having my own Christmas tree. So I don't have any like special ornaments. I bought myself a Starbucks one if you can kind of see it there. But yeah, I wanted to have like some special ornaments and stuff. Because I do have two of them. So I'm thinking of making one tree like my decorative tree and one tree like decorative slash like special ornaments so he got me a tim hortons one to go with my starbucks and then he also got me a dunder mifflin one i've never seen this and i really love this this is so cool it's a dunder mifflin cup it says world's best boss on the back of it this is so awesome i can't wait to have that on the tree for next year and he also got me a coffee mug with a dwight on it it says bears beat battlestar galactica I love this. I told him I wanted a like office mug, but the one I always see is the world's best boss and it's just, it's overdone. Everybody has that one. You know, it's been seen many, many times and I've never seen this one. Like this one was very original and I love it. That's one of my favorite lines in the office. So I love this so much. It's really nice. The next thing he got me, this is a little hard to show, but he bought me a coffee pot you can kind of see it there so story behind this i have a coffee pot that i don't know what's wrong with it it's like defected and it just leaks water consistently and it's so annoying and i'm just over it so i've been wanting to get a new one and originally i was asking for a keurig that was what i wanted i mean everybody has a keurig so that's what I was asking for. I've never had one with like the pods. I've always used like coffee grounds. But before I asked for a Keurig, I already told him how annoyed I was with the coffee pot. And he ended up getting me this one. What makes this one so amazing is it is compatible with Alexa. I don't know if you can see that there. It says it works with Alexa. Meaning I can like get up in the morning and be like Alexa start the coffee. Or I can have it where my alarm goes off and it immediately starts the coffee. Like that is so amazing to me. Like, what the heck is technology? It's crazy. So, yeah, I didn't really want one that had, like, the actual pot just because I like the idea of having the pod so that it just, like, pours your exact amount for your cup. But I will definitely deal with that for the fact that it has Alexa. I just think that's so cool. So, yeah, he got me that. I really, really needed a new coffee pot, especially because I make a lot more coffee at home now. Um, so I'm very excited to use that and along with that he picked me up some more coffee So just some Tim Hortons definitely can't have enough of that because coffee can be expensive. So I'm, I'm stocked up. All right last two things I'm so excited. He bought me the friends complete season I mentioned in my like gift guide for girls video that friends was being taken off of Netflix, which is so sad. I really wanted to watch this again, but I also did not realize that it was going to be off at the end of the year, so I did not have time to. I am so happy that I got it for Christmas because I didn't want to have to buy it myself, but I was going to if I didn't get it. Also because of the fact that I do not have a DVD player because I don't watch DVDs. I just watch whatever's on like Netflix or whatever else. So I have to buy a DVD player and I didn't want to have to buy a DVD player and this and it's just expensive. I also wanted to get this before it was taken off Netflix because I have a feeling once it's taken off, like the price of the box set is going to go up even more. and. Originally, this is already over a hundred dollars. So yeah, I'm just so happy that I have this and I can watch it whenever I want to I'm just so happy. It's my favorite TV show. You can say it's overrated or whatever I don't care. It's a good show. So I'm very excited to own it last gift that he got me is Honestly, so amazing and I was just very surprised when I saw this and it is a makeup bag and it's custom and it has my name on it with brushes. It's so so cute. I love this and it's rose gold it's a small bag it feels honestly like really sturdy there's also gum in here so i'm loaded on gum but it feels really nice i think he said he got this off etsy this is going to be perfect size that i can carry just the few things that i need to in my purse with and i love it it's just so nice all right that is everything that i got for christmas i really hope this isn't too long of a video but i just i always feel the need to talk and talk and talk so i'm sorry if this video was so long but thank you for sticking it through once again i'm just so grateful and overwhelmed i'm still just like wow like wow i really was spoiled this year and just so many amazing amazing gifts and amazing people in my life and i'm just so happy and thankful for everything and i really hope that you guys had an amazing 
Christmas or holiday, whatever you're celebrating, and hopefully you got to spend it with family. And just know that it's never about the gifts and how much you got. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Oh,